implied volatility is a very crucial role in our option trading strategies. So it may take a big chunk of our profit away if it goes against us. And, you know, it may act as a profit booster if we do it the right way. So in this video, let's understand uh, how implied volatility first affects our option strategies and then how we can monetize the sweet spots of volatility. So for that first, let me just guide you through with uh, some of the strategies. So let's say we are in the architect tool. You can select custom strategy to build uh, a custom strategy, obviously. So over here, just select the instrument reliance or any, any script, you can select it. So let's say I am uh, doing a long straddle on reliance. Okay. So I am buying a 2480 call option at the same time. I am buying a 2480 put option means that I don't have any forecast on where reliance is going to move. Okay. So I have created a long straddle over here. Now in this graph, the orange line is showing us the PNL as on the expiry. That means if you hold the strategy till the expiry date, on what level, how much uh, profit or loss you will make. And the black dotted curve is showing us the T plus N uh, PNL, which means that if you are holding this strategy, let's say for zero a day, which is uh, to the end of the day, on what level, how much profit or loss you will make. Let's say if you hold this strategy for two days, then on what level, how much profit or loss you would make in this option strategy. Okay, so now what we are here for, we are here for, uh, you know, understanding the impact of implied volatility in our, on our option trading strategies. So just notice that I'm giving the input to the uh, architect tool that what will happen to my option strategy if IV goes down by 15%. So I have selected that. So if you see, now at the same level where it was giving me a very negligible loss at 24.84, which is at the current market price. Now it is giving me a loss of 2,400. If the IV goes down even further, let's say if, if it goes down to, uh, uh, if it goes down by 40% from the current level, then see, I will make a loss of somewhere around 5,500 rupees in this option trading strategy. So let's put it back to zero. So 466 was approximately the loss at the current level. But if the IV goes down, this strategy is going to give me a loss. Now, why is this happening? Because if you just check the Greeks out of this option trading strategy, then if I just show you the Greeks and just add Vega. Okay, so it is already added. So now if you see, this is a Vega positive strategy. That means more up the implied volatility goes, more profit this strategy is going to give me. So in this strategy, IV going up is going to work in my favor. This will act like my profit booster in this strategy. So whichever strategies are Vega positive strategies, long Vega strategies, that means that in those strategies, you will make money because of implied volatility going up. So generally you will see that strategies such as uh, long call, long straddles, long puts, long strangles, all these strategies will have a long Vega, a positive Vega. That means more the implied volatility goes up, more benefit you are going to get from those option strategies. So now let's just delete uh, all the legs and just try to create a short straddle. By the way, you can navigate to uh, the predefined strategies as well. Select your desired instrument. Let's say Nifty. And select, uh, you know, the direction. So let's say I want to select a oscillating strategy. And I'm creating a long straddle. Okay. A short straddle. I'm sorry. So I have created a short straddle over here in this scenario. Now more the implied volatility goes up. He traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. More problem it will create for me. More the implied volatility goes down, more better it would be for me. Why? Because if you check the Greeks out, then it is a Vega negative strategy. It is a short Vega strategy. So whenever you are getting confused in between um, selecting the strategies based on the implied volatility, uh, then just come to Architect, give input uh, about the strategy. By the way, you can access the tool from link in the description box below or from also uh, the link which is popping up over here in the iCard. So whenever you want to create an option trading strategy, based on implied volatility or not implied volatility, but in general, even if you want to create an option trading strategy, first come to architect, create a strategy with you and just see if the Vega is positive or negative. That means whether you will get money by implied volatility going up or down.
Okay, so if it is a long Vega strategy, a positive Vega strategy, then you will get money because of IV going up. In short Vega strategies or negative Vega strategies, you will get money because of the IVs going down. Okay, so now one one or two more strategies, and then we will understand how can we go ahead and uh, uh, read implied volatility. So I'm creating a bull call spread in Nifty. Okay, add like. Let's say I'm selling a 18,500 strike price or maybe 18,600 call. Okay. 600 may be a bit far off. Let's me sell. This looks okay. Okay. So this is a bull call spread. Now let's say if I am uh, bullish on Nifty, but I think that uh, the implied volatility may also go up at the same time. Then I can create something like this. Wherein I will have a hedge and plus the this is Vega positive strategy. Okay. So, and for bearish strategy, you can create a bear put spread if you want a long Vega strategy. So, now let me just show you one more last strategy, then we will move towards the part of implied volatility. Let's say predefined, let's say like Nifty. Let's say I'm bullish on Nifty and then I'm selecting not a bull call spread, but I'm selecting a bull put spread. Okay, so it is creating a strategy, but using put, a bullish strategy using put. So I am buying, let's say, 18,300. And this is how a bull put spread will look like. Now, if you navigate the Greeks of this option strategy, so it is negative, right? So if you do the right strike selection, it will be a negative to a, a, to a broader ex extent as well. Wherein, even if the IVs go down, still you will make money in this strategy. So now let's say if you are thinking that uh, the IVs will go down and you are having a bullish forecast on Nifty, then you know a bull put spread is typically what you can try to do, but try to tweak around with the strike prices because uh, you know maybe it may not give you the best of the results at the one go. So try to tweak around with the strike prices. Okay. So that's that. Now coming to IV. So IV we all know. So we have discussed in a, it in a lot of uh, other videos too that it will have a mean reverting characteristics that it will not keep on trending. So if I just show you IV, so I am in the IVP IVH tool. You can access the analytic from the link in the description. So let's say Nifty. So this was Kudra CP, by the way, this is Nifty. Now, if you see all the implied volatility charts, you will see that it is oscillating. It is mean reverting. It is not going up, 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 or down, 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 down. So now how we will create, trade using this is that whenever it is at the bottom, we are expecting that the IVs may go up. Whenever the IVs reach the top, we are expecting it to collapse. So again, whenever the IVs are at the top, we will create a more like short Vega strategies, wherein I will get benefit of the IVs going down. And whenever IVs are at the bottom, we will create long Vega strategies, which is something like a, a bull, call, bull call spread or a long strategy or something like that. Okay, so which we understood earlier as well. So yes, so definitely you can check out uh, the link in the description box below and access all this analytics and uh, understand the role of implied volatility. And most important of all, you can use implied volatility as a profit booster in your option trading strategies.